Hello! Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me using some new CoverGirl products. So I'm just going to jump right into it. So if you guys want to see what I used to make this face happen, I just keep watching. Alright, I'm going to start by priming my eyes. I'm using my Holy Grail um, Milani eyeshadow primer. I love this. I don't even... I don't even want to find a different eyeshadow primer because I just love this one so much. So I'm going to put this on and I do set this um, with setting powder. Not because it needs to but just because I'm usually impatient and I don't want to wait. It just it doesn't take long to dry. It just takes like 30 seconds but I'm usually doing this in the few minutes I have when Avery is watching TV for like five minutes. I'm gonna be using this CoverGirl Outlast All Day Primer. This isn't new, it came out a while ago, but I haven't used it yet, so it's new to me, and I figured I might as well include it in this. So, it's just like a lotion-y product. Probably need more than that. I don't really remember the reviews of this. Hmm. Got to do my nails today. It sort of smells like chlorine, but I like that smell, so that doesn't bother me. Like a very faint, which feels very smooth. Hmm. It feels very, it feels like silky. All right, not bad. So CoverGirl recently came out with the, like just came out like this month with these True Naked palettes. There's a nudes, there's a nudes of roses and a gold, I think. They're supposed to be comparable to the Naked, the Urban Decay Naked palettes. I mean, it says like right on here. Shades like a leading $50 eyeshadow palette. I just bought this yesterday or a couple days ago. And this is what it looks like. I This is the one that's supposed to be similar to the first Urban Decay Naked palette. Comes with a little sponge thing, which I don't ever use. Ooh. There are mattes. Oh, how many eyeshadows are in here? Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so there's four mattes and four shimmers. This one's a little powdery but the rest look okay. All right so I'm gonna use this. I They don't have like... Oh they do actually have shade names. So there's Buff Shell Champagne... I don't know what I'm doing. Buff Shell Champagne Fawn Mink Cocoa Coffee and then Sable. Right, so I'm gonna take this shell color and just put that everywhere. What is the weather like where you are? It is unseasonably warm uh, here in Michigan. And like it's almost 60 today and it's the middle of December. That never happens, ever. So I'm not complaining because I love warm weather and I hate cold weather. I need to bring my mirror closer, so. which means I'll have to scoot closer. Uh, yeah, so I am never mad at warmer weather like, ever. I will say that it's a little bit weird to be talking about Christmas when it's so warm because I feel like, I don't know, I'm just not used to it. So I'm not quite as, you know, in the Christmas spirit as I usually am. We're working on it. Um, I think I'm gonna take this dark brown in coffee. We're gonna see what this looks like. Ooh. Hmm. These aren't bad, I mean. I actually think that these are Pretty good for, whoa, 
And now we're done. Just kidding. This is just a clean blending brush. Well, it's not clean, but there's no product in it. Um, yeah, so they blend away a little bit, but I don't really think that's that big of a deal. Like, it's not like all the color went away. A little powdery. I'm like the messiest. Like, I'm just, just not very... delicate, I guess, I'm gonna put on my makeup, whatever. Alright, and then I'm gonna take this, um, cocoa color, oh, oops, okay, yeah, so it's pretty powdery when you, pretty powdery, tap some of that off. All right, so yeah, there's quite a bit of fallout with these and they're pretty powdery. Let's um, clean this up a little bit. <laughs> uh, this M330 from Morphe is still my favorite crease blending brush. Like, I love this brush. So much. Um, yeah, so I went to Kohl's today too. I had ordered um, several things on Black Friday and Cyber Monday because they were great deals and I didn't feel like going out on Black Friday. Mm -hmm. And um, then I can use Ebates also because you guys know that I'm obsessed with Ebates. Like I'm full on obsessed. If you don't use Ebates, you need to be. It's amazing. Um, yeah, so I ordered some stuff and then uh, one of the sizes was, I ordered a size larger for my brother than I knew he needed because they were out of the size that he needed. And I just thought, well, I'll just go exchange it in stores. I waited until like two weeks before Christmas to do this and like of course they're not going to have the item that I ordered in stock, much less in his size. So I just had to exchange it for like a different thing. And it wasn't too crazy. Uh, this looks like, weird up here. What, what's happening? It really wasn't too crazy. I'm taking a little bit of the black, the sable. Oh, I guess it's like super, super dark brown. Yeah, I'm taking that one. In the outer corner. It really wasn't too crazy in there, but I just thought, like, this is a dumb idea. Why am I going to any store, like, so close to Christmas? This is why I shop online. Okay. So my camera does this thing where it stops recording after 12 minutes, but it doesn't make, like, a sound. It just stops, so I don't ever know, like, when it keeps recording. So I, I think it cut out the part where I put the um, mink color in the center and then champagne just a little bit in the inner corner. What I was saying, for so rudely interrupted by my camera, um, I like this, I think. I think it looks fine, I mean, for me. I'm not surprised that I like this, but I'm excited to see CoverGirl coming out with stuff that's like actually exciting. I feel like I skip over the CoverGirl display <laughs> a good chunk of the time because I don't know if it's the packaging or what, but something about it just doesn't grab me. So I am 
excited about these. Um, and I like that they have the golds and then the, the pink version. So far, I like it. And it's definitely better than the first drugstore palette that came out. Like, I didn't love the nudes. <laughs> the Maybelline nudes. Um, and then I haven't tried the Revlon ones, but uh, I like this. And I think this was like 10 bucks, so comparable to the to the other pricing and then always obviously always use coupons if you can so sure. next i am going to do my eyeliner and i'm going to be using the covergirl intensify me i am the worst at liquid eyeliner so i'm actually gonna do this off camera because it's gonna take like an hour and a half and we ain't got time for that so i'll be back. all right so they also came out with this new mascara this is the plumpify blast pro mascara extreme plump and uh, 50 times volume, which is pretty impressive. And look at the wand. It's so weird. Here, let me, let me open. Twisty wand. It's super weird, but I think I, I kind of like these bigger, like, fluffier wands. It looks pretty fluffy. And now the best part. Is anyone else's favorite part of a new mascara putting the wand in the mascara? Like, that is my favorite part. I love when the wands come separate because then I'm just like... And I always close it. Oh, it's very. <laughs> it's very. Um, I mean, it's kind of classy looking. Red and black and gold. It looks like Sephora. That's right. I like it. Okay. Um, I am gonna curl my eyelashes. This is my Tarte eyelash curler because the drugstore one that I had was. Let's see how this goes. I hope you can see what I'm leaning in here. I, um, okay, this wand is massive. I, I don't know that I like wands this large, but hmm. there's little bristles like in between the big ones, like in between the wrap around there's like tiny bristles that make that makes no sense in between the wrap around and don't really know how to get those I'm getting a mascara everywhere hmm I mean I'm sure if I like Turn this wand that's supposed to do something. Oh, I kind of like this. I have like sleepy eyes, so I gotta like go crazy eyed to open them all the way. I kind of like this. I'll get the mascara off my eyelid. So I, I'm not gonna wear like foundation or anything, but I am gonna put a little bit concealer on my friends this is the Maybelline what is this the fit me I think this one I think it's the fit me um, and I know it doesn't totally cover them but I don't really care I just kind of want to lessen the appearance oh I forgot my bottom lash liner. This is the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Colk Gel in Nude. Um, and I forgot my Milani Brow Shaping Clear Wax. Just to keep these babies in place. I think if I filled in my brows it would look ridiculous. Then I am going to use this e.l.f. Jet Setter Mineral Pressed Blush. I really like these blushes. They are pretty, pretty good for three bucks. I still have mascara. Right. And then for highlighter, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Highlight in natural this guy <laughs> I 
Oh, man. I feel like there's not enough on the, like, there's not as much on this side. The last new CoverGirl product is this Oh Sugar vitamin infused balm i have not seen any i actually haven't seen swatches or reviews of any of this stuff this is in the color number nine jelly Ooh. oh you know what it smells like the fresh stuff but it's a beautiful color oh my goodness oh yeah this is like super sheer but i'm okay with that this is a beautiful color And I honestly like these types of colors because I can just like sort of slap them on. And this is my face. Um, I really actually like this a lot. Uh, I only bought one because I didn't want to get more of them. But these are, they feel very, they're very comfortable. I like this a lot actually. Um, yeah, so I like this a lot. I like the eyeshadows and I think I like the mascara. You go, cover girl. Bring it. I can't do that. It's not. It's not believable when I do that. So I hope you guys liked this little. Get ready with me. Um, if you guys have tried any of these cover girl products, let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.